The cowboy on the neon horse smokes a cigar, enduring a lonely vigil above the rusted station. El Chipo, El Chipo. His words flash from among his exhales, epiphanies caught like exclamations and speech bubbles, like the cartoons I used to read, passing the time in the car's cramped back seat, while Mom struggled with the road maps and Dad ashed his pipe out the window with heavy, impatient thuds. These ceaseless lanes of asphalt and billboards are as lonely now as they were back on those long-ago days of summer road trips and family vacations. Parked beside the old payphones with the new stickers that say 35 cents required, I'm searching for change in my pockets and along the dashboard. Across the lot and beside the only pump, a faded red pickup and its muttering engine manage to slightly stir up the silence. Nothing else moves. Wispy brown fields drenched in winter's death surround the gas station and its clientele. Inside, I suspect, the attendant listlessly scratches away at lottery tickets while no one watches him. The owner of the pickup pays for the gas and drives toward the towns I passed this morning. Rayado, San Teresa, Ojos Caliente, Solo. Someone scratched out the mile markers beside the list of names on the roadside long ago, and I have no idea how many miles he'll go before Santa Fe hits him like it hit me. My car is a mess, and I give up grubbing for change in my pockets and venture inside. The attendant is still scratching, muttering to himself that the state lottery jackpot hasn't had a winner in weeks. As I stand there, glancing from his greasy black hair to the cowboy on the sign outside and back to the dollar bill in my outstretched hand, I hear thunder grumbling in the distance, and a sigh slips from between my chapped lips because I can still hear my dad's pipe rumble against the metal of the old Buick's car door as I stand there with my dollar bill and the eagle flashing his words to the pyramid, in God we trust. But the thunder is still coming this way as I struggle to maintain the quiet etiquette of the Buick's back seat back when I never knew where we were going. So I stand there at the counter, next to the Piso Mojado sign, my mouth clenched in the silence of the desert as I wait for the attendant to notice me and break my dollar so I can make that call.